Here comes again, Mark. Watch. Hey guys, we're here at Gorilla Jitsu in San Jose. We're going to show you uh, an open guard move that I like to use to get omoplata a lot, and I use it a lot in competition. So we're going to set up the first part of it from the ground and then apply it to like a competition setting, okay? So we're going to start here. We call this three, four hooks. We're our feet are on the hips. I have cat's paw grips right here. Now, Mark has, his, has some grips on my pants, so I'm going to have to break those off first. What I'm going to do is lift my hips up and then escape them out. Okay, I'm going to lift my hips up and escape them to the side. As I do this, I'm going to pull the grip to my shoulder and I'm going to kick my leg out right here. Now, a lot of times at this point, I'm going to keep this hook, my, my right foot on the hip strong and I'm going to windmill this around, especially if he starts backing up a little bit, it's going to give me the space. Around and then I'm going to dig my shin high up onto his lat muscle. Okay, keeping my, my right or my left grip right here really strong. All right, now from here I'm going to pull my leg in, which brings him to me. At this point, my foot's still on the hip. I got this nice and tight. My right hand is going to let go of the grip and get a cross grip right here. Okay, I'm going to pull this into my body, and then I'm going to let go of my left grip and immediately go right to the elbow. What I'm going to do here is roll his elbow. Okay, rolling his arm. This is keeping him in tight. Okay, I'm going to roll his elbow and straighten my leg, pulling this down to my hip. As I pull this down to my hip, I'm going to punch my right grip so it gets an angle as I kick this leg over. So my right hand is punching. Kick it over, and I'm going to use my foot to push his face away and sit up. Right here. Again. Okay, so he's got pants, or he's got uh, pant grips right here. So I'm going to lift my hips up and out. Pull the grip to my shoulder as I kick my leg out. From here, I'm going to windmill this around. Deep. Right here. I don't want to leave this uh, too shallow because then he can start trying to work for an ankle lock and slow me up. What I need to do is go really far in there and pull my grip to me, pull the, the hook to me. My right hand then lets go, grabs a cross grip. Pull it in tight. It's going to buy me time to get to the elbow. By the time I get to the elbow, I'm going to roll it, keep my leg straight, pulling it to my hip, and I'm going to punch my right hand to push his head away from me. Swim it right inside, sit up, and kick my, kick my legs forward so he goes down. All right, guys, now we'll apply this to when we're standing. It's going to be real simple. What I'm going to do is I'm going to intercept his grips and just sit. Not roll backwards, but I just want to change levels to the ground. Okay, so what we're doing here is just turning a, a competition into kind of what we do every day and roll in the gym. Okay, a lot of people focus so much on the takedowns that they, they use a lot of energy getting those two points. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take it right to what we train every day. So when we're here, nice and low, I just want his hands to come up. I'm just going to grab. I have to have a grip to pull guard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab and I'm going to just sit right here. Change your levels down. Notice I haven't rocked back yet. Okay, now a lot of times right here, he will either be trying to intercept my pants or be trying to go around me. So what I'm going to do is get to his hip right away. I'm going to pull the grips and put my right foot on his hip as I escape my hip out. Okay, so I'm going to pull here. Notice how my hips are already out. So what I've done is, is instead of getting the grips, Feet on the hips and hip escaping out, I've done it all in one scoop. Now from here, all I'm going to do is wrap my leg in, pull in tight, cross grip tight, roll that elbow again all the way to my hip, punch his head away, and sit. Okay. So again, right here, I just intercept the grips, sit. Now very important is to get to his hip right away. Okay, so I'm going to scoot in, shooting my right foot to his hip, and escape my hip out. Right here. Immediately, my lasso hook comes in, pull it, cross grip, pull it tight, elbow, punch, and you get the whole block.
Now there's one other way that I use this uh, setup a lot. It's from what we call reverse de la Hiva. There's a lot of other names for it. But from right here, when we're playing our reverse de la Hiva like this, a lot of times he's driving his knee in. One of the ways to pass this really well is to get a collar grip here so that I can't spin under and to get this grip right here so he can push my hip straight in the air. So if I see this grip coming, what I want to do is I want to attack this grip right away. So what I'm having him do is the pass real fast. He's going to walk my hips up and jump it and running my hips up, okay? So I got to be careful on this. So when I'm keeping him away here, I'm gonna, if I see this, I'm going to immediately grab and just do exactly what we did the last technique. Pull to my shoulder as I kick. But this time, look, I'm going to swing my leg upside down and grab it. Swing back, foot goes to the hip, grab, and it comes to the same thing. Okay? One more angle. So we're playing this. He's doing like a knee cut pass at first, right here. So I'm using my reverse de la to keep him away, maybe trying to set up a sweep, and then I feel his hand come in right here. So I know that if I leave this here, his pass is going to be fast and it's going to it's going to threaten. So I need to attack the strip right away. Again, pull it to my shoulder, kick out, roll upside down, inside, and then I'm right here again. Foot on the hip, grab, kick him away. 